Hi, my name is Eric Cavella from Advanced Motion Controls. In this video, I will show you how to tune the current loop. Once we are connected, we need to go to our configuration. That is under this first tab on the configuration tree called Configuration 0. We're going to want to make sure we set the current loop. Now our command source, this can be your analog input, your step and direction, your encoder following. But for now, we're going to make sure we stay at no command. From here, we need to make sure we press the apply button. This will store it for us to use for the time being. We'll want to close this window and go to the motor parameters page on this configuration tree. Now my motor, we can set here, we can select a brushless motor and mine has a peak current of 5 amps, continuous 3 amps, maximum speed, number of poles is 8, I have my resistance inductance KE, KT per my motor data sheet. I've got my feedback with my 25 line per revolution encoder, and I've got my hall sensors for commutation. We'll need to make sure we apply this, which will store everything to the non-volatile memory. This will make sure that when the drive power is down, we're still able to read back all the information. From here, we're going to want to go to the limits and verify that everything is set to a reasonable number. So my peak current is limited to 5 amps, that's fine. Continuous is limited to 2 amps. Now this is different than my motor parameters page. Motor parameters page is at 3 amps. I'm limiting this to 2 amps. And this just helps protect my power supply a little bit. And I have it set already, so we'll want to close this. Next, we need to open up the scope tool for tuning. You can either do that by clicking on this icon in the top toolbar, or in the tools drop down menu, we can click on the scope. This brings up our scope. We can see we have our display settings, our trigger settings, measurement tools, our waveform generator tool, and our different channels that we can view. This is currently set up for the current mode. Now to get the gains, we need to come over here to the tuning window in the configuration tree. This will overlay our gains on top of our scope. To get around that, we're gonna either wanna right click on this tab and press new vertical tab group or we can go to the window drop down and select new vertical tab group as well. This will bring them up side by side and we can change the size of this one so we can actually see both of them at the same time. Now we can see here our gains are at zero and as I mentioned earlier we input the resistance, inductance, KE, KT values on the motor data page. Now a calculate button uses all those to theoretically calculate the gains required for this motor. So if we press that, we can see it add some gains up here. And we'll see how good this actually did. To do that, we're going to want to command a square wave at roughly 100 to 150 hertz at a, any amplitude that a typical move in your application requires. In my case, I'm going to select a square wave into the current loop at 125 hertz, and I'm going to use one amp. And we can see up here we have our command. It's kind of bouncing around a little bit. That's a scope set to auto mode. So we're going to want to set this to normal. Now our scope set it settles down a little bit and we can see what we're working with. Up here on the display, I'm going to set this to one millisecond. This will let me see one complete cycle of my square wave. Now I'm going to enable the drive. It looks like this calculating gains did a pretty good job on this particular motor. Now it doesn't always end up that pretty. So what I'm going to do is show you how to manually tune this. In case you don't know your resistance values or you don't know your inductance or it just isn't calculating it properly, you need a different response. So what we're going to do is bring up the KP value. We can slowly start seeing the yellow line, as, which is our response. And about halfway up we have a nice knee here. Now I'm going to start bringing up our KI and make sure we can get rid of that. And we have a pretty good tune right there. I'm going to increase this KP to shorten up my rise time. And I would call that a pretty good tune, but it'll work just fine. So as you can see, we can tune a couple different ways. And I hope this has helped you. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to close off this current loop gain. We're going to make sure we keep these changes written down to the drive. We'll press OK. We'll disable our waveform generator, which will disable the bridge as well. Close the scope window and press the store button. This will store all our parameters we just set up into non-volatile memory. This will allow you to bring them up in the future from the drive after a power cycle. 
Thanks for watching and I hope this has helped you.